Meal Planning for the Paleo Diet Meal planning is one of the most important things you can do, both for your diet to succeed and for your budget. This is because having a plan to work with can help you in so many ways. Instead of feeling flustered and confused about what to make for dinner because you don't have anything figured out yet, you can look right at your meal plan, get your ingredients around, and get your meals made and portioned out. This can help you stay on track without getting distracted by easy solutions and quick fixes that are ultimately very unhealthy. Some people have a hard time planning their meals out. They like to be spontaneous and their appetites can change, so they may find themselves reluctant to take the time to sit down and really work through the kind of foods they want to put into their meal plan. But a meal plan isn't meant to limit your freedom. In fact, if you use it right, it is supposed to help you do better and give you more options while saving you time and money. If you are saving money, you have a lot more ways to be creative. Don't you think? To make your meal planning an easy and a fun experience, remember that you don't have to limit yourself. Think about the foods that you really like to eat and work those into your meal plan. That way, you aren't overwhelmed with the possibility of trying a new food or recipe every single day. That can be an overwhelming prospect. It is a lot of work. But if you are making sure you just think about things you feel comfortable with and that are familiar and dependable, then just keep those in mind while planning your meals. By all means, though, you can easily consult cookbooks and other resources for recipes if you are experimental and want to try something new. Maybe you can set aside one day a week for a new meal experience. It can be a day that you have planned to have leftovers from the night before, so that if you don't end up liking what you made, you will have something to fall back on. Although a good rule of thumb, especially in Paleolithic times, was not to waste food. A good thing you should do before planning your meals out for the week is to check to see what ingredients you already have so that nothing you have already bought will go to waste. You want to make sure that your new diet is encouraging you to live a lifestyle free of waste and being careful about what you use and when you use it can be a great strategy. Don't let your fresh fruits and vegetables go to waste. Look into the shelf life of your fruits and vegetables and see what is the most likely to expire first and use that while it is fresh. Make those foods your priority. Also, don't be afraid to use leftovers when meal planning. In fact, being creative with them can help you save your money and make your meals for the week that much more whimsical. If you make a side that can be used in several different ways, such as a side one day or a topping another, then you are making sure that your food goes a long way and you are less likely to waste anything you buy. This practice can also help you begin to work on portion control so that you aren't overeating foods just because you know they are healthier for you than other types of foods might have been. One final tip for meal planning is to anticipate that there will be a time you just aren't feeling like cooking. Plan ahead for that. Maybe you can make a soup or a stew and have it in the freezer waiting for you for a time like that. Or maybe you can make double of something at the beginning of the week so you know you will have it later on when you are feeling exhausted and simply don't want to cook. Of course, for days like that, you can still throw things in a slow cooker and let that do most of the work for you. That is another good alternative for those days when cooking just doesn't sound appealing. Either way, make sure that you are being realistic when you are creating your meal plan so that you are able to follow through and feel good about it. Don't overdo it because you have big goals. Work with where you are at and slowly work on going above and beyond that. And do it in a realistic way. Otherwise, you may end up feeling stressed out and declare yourself a failure when you have simply overwhelmed yourself and need to take things a little more slowly. All of this is important, but it isn't worth it to beat yourself up if you make a choice that you regret. Instead. Just work hard not to make that choice next time. That way, you will start every meal with a clean slate, full of opportunities for you to make the healthiest choices possible.